All right, suppose that we've got a basis of V consisting of these four vectors, V1 through V4. Prove that these linear combinations, V1 plus V2 and V2 plus V3 and V3 plus V4 and V4 itself, those guys also form a basis of V. All right then. So, so let's see. So, so I'm gonna uh, just name these guys. So W1 is gonna be V1 plus V2 and W2 is gonna be V2 plus V3 and W3 is gonna be V3 plus V4 and W4 um, is just gonna be V4, all right? So let's see. Um, so now I can actually uh, solve these sort of uh, the other way around. So then let's see, so V1 then, I can make V1 by starting with W1 and then to subtract off, to get rid of uh, this, this V2 here, I'll subtract a W2 and then I'll have a minus V3 here. So I'm gonna need to add a W3 and then I'll have one leftover V4, so I'll subtract off that one. And so that would give me V1, okay. So I've got uh, V1, uh, V2 I can write in much the same way as W2 minus W3 plus W4. And uh, V3 is gonna be W3 um, minus W4 and then uh, V4 is W4. So I've shown that the Vs are in the span of the Ws. Okay, so... Um, each Vj is in the span of the Ws. That means that V, in other words, the span of the Vs is contained in the span of the Ws because anything you can make out of the Vs, well, I can make each of the Vs out of the Ws first and then I've made it out of the Ws. All right. Okay, so that gives us um, the, the spanning part. Let's see, now I just need to see that there's a unique uh, prescription for how to write each U in terms of the WJs, but we have that as well. So, And so let's see, so if I take u, uh, let's see, so this is some element of, of v, right? So I'm just saying, let's, let's pick some element of v. Um, then I can write it as uh, a1 v1 plus a2 v2 plus a3 v3 plus a4 v4, because the v's form a basis, that's what was given back at the very beginning, right? And so now what I can do is I can say, oh, well, um, I'm going to take V1 here and replace it by exactly this quantity. And I'm going to take uh, V2 here and replace it by this quantity and so forth. And so that gives me um, A1 W, whoops. W1 minus W2 plus W3 minus W4 plus, and then A2, and I swap in for V2, W2 minus W3 plus W4, and A3, and I swap in for V3, uh, W3 minus W4, and A4, and I swap in for V4, W4, and then I collect all of the, uh, the the coefficients of, of each W. 
So for w1, that only appears in the first one, so I just have a1, w1. Now for the coefficient of w2, I get um, minus a1 uh, coming from, from right here. And then I have um, uh, another a2 coming from over here. And that's all the w2s that appear. And then coefficients of w3. And so I have uh, a1 minus a2 and then a3 of them. And then I have uh, minus a1 plus a2 minus a3 plus a4 as my coefficient for w4. And so by the word prescription, I mean this is like prescribed in the sense like there's no wiggle room whatsoever. This is just uh, what it is. It's, it's forced upon you. So um, <clears throat> that means that uh, we're done. We've got a unique way to write u in terms of the wj's.